Considered the center of the tech universe today, Silicon Valley is thought of as being some big industrial complex grinding out computer chips and software. But it used to be a lush agrarian area called the Valley of Heart's Delight, teeming with orchards, farms, ranches, fruit packing plants. It was one of the largest suppliers of produce in the United States. A wonderful variety of topography and scenery right in my hometown of San Jose. I'm often amazed at the little scenes that we see all around the, the valley here. Remnants of the, the old natural areas are still here. Underneath freeways, around back alleys, in the back of strip malls, are just wonderful little scenes we hardly ever notice in the rush of modern life. With an eye for these hidden treasures, Donald Neff embarked on a one-year quest to paint the little scenes of creeks which flow through both the suburban and urban landscapes of Silicon Valley. My goal was to paint one painting each week for a year. The mild seasons that we have here in the valley. Neff painted each painting in plain air, that is on location. Painting on location gives the artist a more accurate depiction of the subject than using photography. Photographs make the shadows too dark, the sunlight areas too light, and modify the true colors. A more emotional and accurate experience is recorded when you're there listening to the water, the birds, the wind, and many times on this quest, the sound of traffic. Donald Neff, a retired software entrepreneur, has lived in the valley for over 35 years. Neff has been painting and drawing all his life, while his day job was in computer software. For the last 14 years, he's been painting full time. I started the quest mid-November 2013. At the time, didn't realize we were going to have a record drought, but there's still plenty of scenes to paint. Sometimes Neff rode his bicycle to reach some of the locations, and sometimes he rode his motorcycle. I've always loved creeks when I was a kid. I used to build little creeks in the backyard. I think there's nothing I'd rather do in the afternoon by a creek in the high Sierras. Donald painted creeks at sunrise. He painted creeks at sunset. He painted moonlit creeks. He painted bridges. He painted boats. He painted the world's first plain air selfie. He painted the Colbert by Apple. He also painted beauty in the grit of the local waterways with the trash of mankind 
including the United States' largest homeless camp. I painted in city parks, county parks, downtown, suburbia, and a number of times just into the surrounding foothills where you would never think that a mile away Sometimes a few yards is a major metropolitan area. That's one nice thing about the Bay Area is uh, if you don't like the scenery you're at, you can just go a few miles and it can be totally different. Ghost towns and wild beaver signs were all subjects in the quest. Wherever he painted, there was always a creek or waterway. Most of all, I was impressed with the citizen volunteers who were trying to clean up the many creeks and restore them to their original condition. Discover and preserve our natural heritage in Silicon Valley. Along the way, Donald got a little ahead of schedule, so I ended up with 60 paintings of the 43 different waterways from all over the South San Francisco Bay Area. I slip, I slide, I gloom, I glance. Among my shimmering shallows, I make the netted sunbeam dance against my sandy shallows. I murmur under moon and stars in bramble wildernesses. I linger by my shiny bars. I loiter around my crescents. And out again I curve and flow to join the brimming river. For men may come and men may go, but I go on forever. <laughs>